I'm here inside the LSST clean room. I have a bunch of people telling me not to touch anything. Here it is, the camera. The scientists inside this lab are working on the world's largest digital camera. But it's not for selfies, or anything on Earth for that matter. It's going to be part of a state-of-the-art telescope that's going to take pictures of the entire southern hemisphere's night sky twice a week. I'm Risa Wexler. I'm the director of the Kabbalah Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology. LSST is a very large camera that's being built here at SLAC to be installed in a telescope in Chile. And because it goes deep and gets such a large fraction of the sky, the range of science that we can study with LSST is very, very broad. The night sky isn't a constant thing, it's always changing in subtle ways. Stars can go supernova, entire galaxies are rotating, and the universe itself is expanding. Imaging the night sky over and over again will let scientists pick out these changes and hopefully figure out what causes them. We're going to be getting images of something like 10 billion galaxies. Some of those galaxies will be measured well enough that we can actually use them to probe how much matter there is along the line of sight over about half of the age of the universe. The LSST's camera's delicate sensors must be built and handled inside of a clean room. So I'm under here with the cryostat that's going to hold the camera inside. Currently, you can see this grid here where they're going to install all of the CCD detectors. The cryostat cools the camera's super flat sensors to a temperature of negative 100 degrees Celsius or around negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. This prevents extra noise or blips from showing up in the detector's readout. It also keeps the electronics cool and holds everything in a vacuum to keep out dust. Think of it as a climate-controlled, protective home for the sensor. I'm Aaron Rudman. I'm a professor here at SLAC in the Department of Particle Physics and Astrophysics, and I'm working on the LSST camera. Our camera is about three tons, the size of a small car, with a focal plane. So the thing that takes the picture is 64 centimeters across. And that compares to the thing in your cell phone, which is about this big. One of the key things we're trying to do with LSST is measure very precisely these parameters that tell us what the universe is made of. We're trying to get insight into what dark energy and dark matter are and how they're changing over time. Theorists estimate that the universe is just 4% regular matter. Maybe a quarter is the mysterious dark matter whose gravity provides a scaffolding to support galaxies. The rest is dark energy which seems to be driving the universe apart. Taking all of these pictures with a 3.2 gigapixel camera means the LSST will generate an enormous amount of raw data, maybe 15 terabytes per night. The camera's electronics will begin processing the data on the spot, then send it over a high-speed fiber optic cable to the base of the mountain and onwards to data centers in the United States. And anyone can use the data, even if they aren't a scientist. The LSST will be a state-of-the-art survey, but it's just one of many new telescopes that will sharpen our view of the night sky. If the telescope catches a supernova or other strange event, scientists can follow up with other ones that observe radio waves, microwaves, or gamma rays. But the LSST will gather information about the universe like never before.